Question 1. A person has coronary heart disease. Question 1.1. Which blood vessels are affected by coronary heart disease? Arteries, capillaries, veins. It's got to be the arteries. A person's heart stops beating. The person stops breathing. A first aider pushes down on the person's chest. Pushing down on the person's chest puts pressure on the heart. Question 1.2. Explain why putting pressure on the heart helps the person. 1. It pushes or moves the blood to flow to get oxygen gas around the body. That's your tumor. Question 1.3. First aid that also forces air into the person's lung by blowing into their mouth. Describe how forcing air into the person's lungs helps the person. It provides oxygen gas for respiration to take place. Question 1.4. The person's heart starts to beat again and the person starts breathing. The person has a higher level of cholesterol in their blood. Name one type of drugs that would decrease the level of cholesterol in the person's blood. Statins. Question 1.5. A doctor decides that the persons need to have a stent fitted. Explain how a stent works to treat coronary heart disease. Two marks. One, stent opens or widens blocked blood vessels to allow more blood to flow, to allow more glucose or oxygen gas to the heart cells or tissue or muscles. Two marks. Table one shows the effect of smoking on the risk of developing different cardiovascular diseases. Table 1. Cardiovascular disease EFGH. Percentage increase in risk compared to people who have never smoked. as 14%, 20, 29, 70. Question 1.6. Give two conclusions can be made from the data in Table 1. So this is the Table 1 data. And so we could say smoking increases the percentage risk of all types of cardiovascular disease. Smoking increases the percentage risk of having disease H more than any other type of cardiovascular disease because H is 70%. Question 1.7. Complete figure 1. You should label the y-axis, add the correct scale to the y-axis, plot the data from table 1, label each bar. The bar for cardiovascular disease E has been plotted for you. Four marks. This is the figure, figure 1, and what we need to do is to label the y-axis here. So as the y-axis, percentage increase in risk compared to people who have never smoked because this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. So that's the x-axis. Now we're looking at this table. This looks like E is 14%. That's 14%. So we expect that to be 14. If this is 14, that means that is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's 14. That must be 15. So now we could label that as 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 65 70 because we have the maximum 70 for h f to be 20 g 29 h 70 so the next one should be here not there because it's a bar chart and there had to be a gap between the bars f here and then g is 29 f is 20 and now we're drawing h h is 70 finally question 1.8 describe one lifestyle factors that can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease do not refer to smoking in your answer well poor diet or lack of exercise any one of those is good